Good morning, boys and girls. I am Miss Peavy. I am Miss H. And we are from O'Rourke Elementary School. We have missed you so much since we've been away from school, and we'd like to start with our hello song. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We're glad that you are here today. Hello, hello, hello. See if you can sing it with us. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We're glad that you are here today. Hello, hello, hello. I know that when you're at your school, you do calendar every morning. So let's do the calendar together today. See if you can be my echo. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. April the 13th. April the 13th. 2020. 2020. Say it all together with us. Today is Monday, April the 13th, 2020. Let's see if we can count how many days are in April. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good job. If anybody has a birthday in April, happy birthday to you. In our class, we sometimes sing a Days of the Week song. See if you know this Days of the Week song and sing it with us. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the Days of the Week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the days of the week. Start each day with a smile. Make each day full of fun. Let's make each and every day a very, very special one. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The days of the week. The days of the week. The days of the week. All right, boys and girls, this morning, we are going to be talking about seasons. So let's take a look at our concept cards. These are cards that show pictures that help us learn what things are called. So seasons are how the weather looks and feels at different times of the year. So take a look at our tree. This tree right here doesn't have any leaves on it and there's snow on the ground. This is the season winter. Say winter. Winter. Next our tree has lots of white flowers on it. The grass is green, sunshiny and there's even tiny little yellow flowers in the grass. When the tree looks like this, we call this season spring. Now look at our tree. The flowers are gone. The leaves are all in. Lovely weather outside. And we call this season summer. Say summer. Summer. And then our last season, the leaves on the tree have changed. They'll turn to red and orange and yellow and then to brown. The grass has turned a golden color. And when the tree looks like this, we call it fall. Say fall. Fall. Now, in the different seasons, the tree looks different and the weather outside may look different and feel different as well. In winter, we say that the weather is 
cold. When the weather's cold, you have to wear a coat, maybe a hat and a scarf and some gloves. In winter, the weather is cold. In the summer, the weather is warm. In Alabama, in the spring, and sometimes in the fall, the weather is warm. You're gonna wear short sleeves and maybe short pants and sandals. And we say the weather is warm. So let's take a look at those seasons again and see if you can say them with us. Winter. Winter. Spring, spring, summer, summer fall, fall, warm, and then last we have the temperature that we call cold. Good job, guys. So now that we have talked about the seasons, I want to teach you a little poem that can help us remember what the seasons are called. So I'm going to say it, then Miss H is going to be my echo, and you be an echo with Miss H. All right, here we go. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. There are seasons, four in all. There are seasons, four in all. You say it with us when we say it together. Winter, Winter spring, spring, summer, fall. There are seasons four in all. Let's do it one more time just to make sure you can remember. Winter, spring, summer, fall. There are seasons four in all. I brought with me today a book that's called A Tree for All Seasons. This book is written by Robin Bernard. And this book, I can tell by the front of it that this is a nonfiction book. This book has real pictures in it and tells us information. It's not a made up story. A tree for all seasons. Year after year, a maple tree changes from season to season. This looks just like our concept cards. In winter, the tree is bare. It looks dead, but it is alive and well. Many things are happening. Squirrels nap in a cozy tree hole. A little bird sits on a branch and calls its name. Chickadee, dee, dee. Look closely at this tree branch. The bumps at the tip are buds. They will open into leaves when the weather gets warmer. As winter ends, nights are still cold, but days are getting warmer. It is perfect weather for farmers to collect sugar maple sap. The sap flows out of taps and into buckets. The sap has no color until it's boiled. Then it becomes dark, sweet maple syrup. What a treat for pancakes and waffles. Spring brings warmer weather. The leaf buds open. Soon the maple tree grows floppy green flower tassels. Birds build nests on the branches. Spring also brings rain showers. The tree's roots soak up water and carry it to all parts of the tree. Sunshine helps the tree make sap, which feeds the tree. Look at the veins in a leaf. Air, water, and sap all flow through them. See the veins right here in the leaf? In summer, the maple tree is covered with dark green leaves. Fruit called Samaras is growing on the tree. It makes a good meal for a chipmunk. 
Even on a hot summer day, you can find a cool place to play under a maple tree. In autumn, autumn is another word for fall, the tree's leaves turn bright colors. As the leaves dry up, they change from green to yellow, red, and orange. Each day, more and more leaves fall. Autumn brings chilly days and nights. Bugs crawl under the tree barks where they will sleep through the cold weather. Animals get ready for winter when food will be hard to find. Squirrels hide lots of nuts and seeds. If you play in the leaves, you'll hear crunch, scrunch, crunch. But don't worry about making noise. The maple tree won't wake up again until spring. Did you like that story? Miss H, what is your favorite season? I would say spring when it goes from winter and it's a little cool and then it gets a little bit warmer and it doesn't realize what it wants to do. It can be hot or cold. I think my favorite season is summer. I love to be outside. I like it when it's hot. I love sunshine. So summer is my favorite season. We want you to think about your favorite season. Is it winter, maybe spring, summer, or even fall when school starts again? So think about that today and think about what season you like the best and maybe if you have some crayons or some markers or even just a pencil, you could practice drawing your favorite season. Think about the things you like to do. Think about the clothes you like to wear. And you could draw a picture. Maybe ask the people in your home, hey, mom, what's your favorite season? Grandma, what do you like the best? Maybe you have brothers or sisters. That would be a fun thing to do at home. Now, we talked about having different kinds of clothes and different kinds of activities that you do in each season. One thing that I really like about fall is football. That happens in the fall. What are some things that happen in winter? Miss H? Um, well, not here, it snows, but other places it does, and I think that's pretty. Yes, it definitely snows in the winter in places that are colder than Mobile, Alabama. Yes. Um, in the springtime, we are in the season of spring right now, we just had Easter, so maybe you had an Easter egg hunt, or um, maybe you're getting outside to ride your bike. And in summer, you can go swimming, one of my favorite things to do. All right, boys and girls, I think that we would like to sing some songs. So this is one of my favorite songs. This is called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. So, get your spider ready, and let's sing together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I hope that's one of your favorite songs. I brought another song. I think everybody knows this one. The ABC song. So sing with us. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? How about we get up and move around a little bit? Yes. You want to do a little bit head, shoulders, knees, yes. and toes? All right, everybody stand up. Here we go. Get ready. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. 
two eyes, two ears, a mouth and a nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. See if you can do it a little bit faster. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Two eyes, two ears, a mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right, really, really fast. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Two eyes, two ears, mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Whew. That was really fast, guys. Good for you. All right, let's take a few stretches and get ready for your day. Here we go. Ready? Stretch and let it out. One more time. Stretch and let it out. And one big giant yoga breath. Yes. All right, guys. I think that's it for today. So we're going to sign off. Miss H and I will be back with you on Wednesday. Know that we miss you. Know that we love you. Wash your hands. <laughs>